Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm gonna be discussing how to fix your verifying DMI pool data where your screen will not get past this. You've waited a long time, you've reset it, and it goes back to this little message right here. It just cannot get past the screen. In my case, there's two different options. One was able to fix it. I did try both of these, but out of these two, you should be able to fix yours. The first option is gonna be one of the easiest ones. What you wanna do is you wanna turn off your computer, and then you wanna check your cables in the back of your hard drives, etc. You wanna make sure those cables are tightened on there, just in case you've bumped it and loosened it up, or if you've pulled a hard drive out, put a new hard drive in, and the cable, meaning the SATA cable right there, power cable, etc., they're loose behind your hard drives. That is number one. And then you also want to check the cable connections to your motherboard, which is right over there. So that's the first option, checking the connections, making sure those are nice and firmly secured on there, again, with the computer powered off. But in my case, my case was a little bit more complex, but very easy to do. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and hit the reset button on the computer here. If you do not have a reset button on the front of your computer right there, you might wanna check the motherboard and there should be a small little square. And you wanna definitely uh, don't have any static electricity when you're touching the motherboard. And I would get like a pencil or a pla something plastic, not metal, and go ahead and push in that reset button. Of course, you have to take off the side of your computer, which my side is off right there. So anyway, my reset button is right here on the front of the computer. I'm gonna go ahead and hold that down. And then as we hold that down, it's gonna go ahead and restart here as we're seeing that, okay? Now, once the boot menu comes up, our keyboard's gonna light back up and I believe it's gonna be F12, don't quote me on that one, but we're gonna mash that down several times because we wanted to get into the boot menu. Yes, F12, but we gotta wait till our keyboard senses power or it's not gonna work, obviously. So our keyboard should fire up here in just a second because we are on here, here we go. Now we start mashing down that F12 because you wanna be quick on the draw. And again, F12 is boot menu, and we'll get in here in just a second here. Delete is bio setup. And we're gonna to go to F12, here we go here. Okay, so this is boot menu right here. And both of my screens show the exact same thing here. So what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and trigger down to hard disk. Go ahead and push enter here. And then that's gonna take us into the boot menu. And see what it's doing here is it's confused. Your computer is a little bit confused and it doesn't know which hard drive to fire up from, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna choose the hard drive where you have your Windows stored. I have Windows stored in Hitachi hard drive. Samsung is my other hard drive, but you want to find out which hard drive is the one that came with your computer that holds Windows. Again, in my case, out of these two, it's Hitachi. So I'm gonna go ahead and arrow down, and I'm gonna go ahead and push enter now. Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and fire up like this, and you're gonna get past this because obviously now the computer senses that you want to connect through that particular hard drive to Windows. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this video. Hopefully it has definitely helped you. If it has, give it a thumbs up, and definitely have a great time getting back into your computer and enjoy it. Alrighty guys, consider subscribing because I got a lot of other videos on the channel. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.